Akintoshan 18 year old Lowland single malt scotch whiskey. Is this a go or a no? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Hey my Whiskey Curious friends, welcome to Whiskey Whistle, your wise choice in independent whiskey and spirits reviews, bringing you Akintoshan 18 year old Lowland single malt scotch whiskey, exclusively matured in American oak, I believe ex-bourbon American oak. It's 43% ABV, it's got an age statement. Now it likely has a bit of color added and uh, probably chill filtered, but boy it's got a lot going for it. Uh, let's get that poured and we'll talk about that. Now I've already got one on the go. I'm going to pour another one and we'll compare them uh, to see if there's a bit of a difference between one that's been sitting out for about uh, an hour, hour and a half, versus a fresh glass. All right. Um, quite an attractive label. I love the golden effect there. They've sort of updated that to a degree. And they've got this sort of unique, um, I'm going to call it kind of like a traditional, almost like, um, I don't know, what can I call that? Like, a, I forget that kind of art. Pen art, it's got this, anyway, just a great art on the, on the bottle. I quite like it. Um, and I guess I'm, from the design there, I guess I'm expecting orange and vanilla and uh, almonds. Anyway, I shouldn't be looking at that because I don't like to look at the uh, uh, the generic um, tasting notes for bottles on the label. I like to get those myself. And generally, if somebody that I know has has recently reviewed something that I want to review, I will avoid watching it so that I do not taint my own whiskey uh, tasting notes. Anyway, I take great pride in that. Um, Great care, I should say. All right, so now, uh, first of all, we will check out the uh, the color of the whiskey. We'll ch also check out the legs of the whiskey. Then we'll check out the nose, the palate, and the finish. And finally, we'll give it a Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score at the end. So make sure you stay tuned until that point. And, um, well, either it's going to be right before or right after this, but you'll know that this has been one of my top five go-to everyday whiskeys here on Whiskey Whistle. So uh, that should tell you a little bit about what's coming up on this show. Now I'm going to start with the old one for the color because I don't like the glass I have to use here. I've run out of clean glasses so I have to use a branded one. Uh, so we'll stick to this one for now. So what color do you see there? Pretty much a standard amber hue, your typical whiskey color isn't it? Um, nothing really interesting there in the color. Uh, wish it were natural. Hopefully it will be someday, but uh, for the foreseeable future, uh, we can expect this, this typical, you know, uh, slightly, a slight orangey, uh, amberish uh, type of a color as I spill some. Um, all right, on to the legs. Again, I'm using the, the one that's been out for a while. So we'll check the legs out for this one, being unbranded. Here we go. So what do you see there for legs? Pretty nondescript, but then we get a little bit of something going on there. We finally see some legs developing. Can you see that? And I'm guessing that those um, ex-bourbon oak casks were very active. Uh, it is giving something nice to this whiskey. Just want to make sure that that is uh, American. Oh, pretty sure American bourbon casks. Yeah, uh, I believe that is um, the same as their 12 year old, I think. Um, and unlike their triple cask or uh, other bottlings. All right, so on to the nose. Um, let's start with that uh, fresh fresh one. It's got this zinginess to it and I really do feel that this is the best Akintoshin that you can get for the um, the basic end of things. 
and 18 year old boy the price wise this is priced more like a 12 year old for some whiskeys this is $89 here in Manitoba which is very very reasonable it's light it's got that little bit of waxiness to it that little bit of um, uh, grapefruit pith that I'm used to for Akintoshin Citrus, maybe a bit of uh, mandarin skins, especially dried mandarin skins. A bit of vanilla. And uh, I'm going to jump into the almonds, but I'm going to tell you that it's like slivered raw almonds. And maybe with a little bit of raw hazelnut or filberts in there as well. And how about the older one? The older one has more fruit coming out here. So I would recommend letting it sit for a while. Something pineapple y, roasted pineapple. So that's a definite benefit uh, to the nose, in my opinion. And the palate. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. So gentle. So candied. Lightly fruity. Hint of um, graininess to it. Now, 18 years old, you might think this was more like a 16-year-old, just in its um, strength of fruit. Now, being triple distilled and 43% ABV, you're getting a lighter experience than other Scotch whiskey, Scotch single malts. I have a feeling that Akintoshin can really go the distance with age. There is a little bit of um, mild chocolatiness to it, like uh, Charleston Chew, which they can't actually call chocolate because it's not really chocolate. They use uh, palm oil instead of uh, um, instead of uh, uh, cocoa butter. Hmm. Even including the centers of that Charleston Chew that's um, very similar. Now personally with Charleston Chew, I like to freeze those and then smack them before I eat them so they're all broken into pieces. Probably not a very good thing for me, but you know, once in a while, I would say that it's therapeutic in a nostalgic sense for me, anyway. Same with Pop Tarts, but we'll save that for another story. Okay. Oh, and I should check the palette with that one that's been sitting out, and we'll see if there's any difference. Um, the general rule is that you, if it's 18 years old, you should let it sit out 18 minutes before you, uh, you start to taste it, at least 18. So let's see here. It really does seem richer. A little bit lighter, a little bit richer. So keep that in mind. And the finish. We swallow. We get some dryness. That grapefruit rind again. Uh, very nice fruit flavors. Vanillas from that ex-bourbon oak. 
And I have to be honest, a very, very, very long finish for this whiskey. Good flavors. Not just dryness, but just carried on flavors coming from this. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to put those together now and get rid of that um, branded glass. Did you see which brand that was? Okay, we'll add some water here. I'm going to add one and a half since we have a good volume there. Now, I would say that Akintoshin is a uh, not a beginner's whiskey. Um, it is definitely a, um, a novice or even an intermediate Scotch single malt whiskey drinker. Pardon me. Now, again, my new mandate is not to edit out stuff. So bear with me. With water. Well, that grapefruit rind is gone. I get light wood smoke. I get that light pineapple. Vanilla pods. Maybe a generic citrusy type of flavor. Well, scent, I should say. All right, onto the palate with water now. Cheers again. It's very luscious with water. A little bit biteier. And... Um, my tongue's a bit prickly now in the finish. Let's try that again. Hmm. It's like that triple fruit marmalade with grapefruit rind, Seville orange, and... Um, whatever other orange that might have been. Drier finish. Again with um, citrus rinds um, presenting in the finish. This is such an appealing whiskey for Akintoshin and uh, definitely the best of what I've tried which is American Oak, Valanche, uh, Bartender's Malt and uh, this one at least that I've bought with my own, my own money uh, and not at a bar uh, I should say. Anyway now we should get out of the whiskey whistle whiskey score. I have one last sip here before I calculate that. Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Akintoshin, 18 year old, lowland single malt scotch whiskey, folks. This is going to get 90 out of 100. Yes, you heard right. 90 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Akintoshin 18. It's an Akintoshin. Now, if you're not into Akintoshin as a distillery, you may want to avoid this. But altogether, this is such an interesting flavor you will not find in any other distillery. And the 18-year-old, in my opinion, again, the pinnacle of uh, the Akintoshin basic range without, you know, spending hundreds of dollars.
beautiful whiskey, um, a joy to drink. I'm so happy I bought this. And I really think that, you know, if you're ready to try some more challenging flavors, this is definitely one to get. Uh, you could go with a 12 and save a little bit of money, but you won't be saving much. This 18 year old is so well priced that uh, I have to uh, give a nice little clap to uh, Beam Suntory, um, who owned this distillery, for putting this out at such an attractive price. I should probably go and get more of this because I have a feeling that we will not see prices like this again. I can still taste that gentle little bit of uh, coffee, a little bit of uh, grapefruit. It's really like um, um, a breakfast whiskey. I get coffee, I get grapefruit. That's a great breakfast for me. Uh, all right, anyway, so uh, thanks for joining. Now, make sure you click my emblem right there so you can uh, subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Hit the bell so you're notified of all the future Whiskey Whistles. And um, I'd love to see you in my little community on Patreon. Become a patron. Uh, there's three different levels of patronage uh, with slightly different uh, types of benefits. And, um, well, lots more, to come, more, lots more to come, including some merchandise. So stay tuned and get involved. All right? Love to see you there. Patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle. Uh, check it out. And uh, maybe we'll talk to you very soon, okay? Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.